Hi everyone, Peter Jordan here from Local NJ Business Videos, and I want to tell you about a new software called Video Spin, which was created by Anthony Ayers, a very well respected and well known video um, marketer. And I have to say, uh, I've been actually working with this software for the past week or so, and I have to say I'm very impressed with it. I wasn't expecting uh, it to be as good as it is. Um, just given my experience in the past with similar kinds of software, and I've bought them all. Um, and so except for a handful that I use right now, most of the others I find are extremely buggy or there's always some sort of a glitch or a problem with them where they don't live up to the hype that's being generated about them. But in this particular case, and it could be simply because it's Anthony Ayers, and uh, this was something that he actually developed for his own particular use, um, it doesn't, uh, it's not, ex these claims are not exaggerated about it. So anyway, let's dive into it. Let me show you, I'm going to give you a demo of it so you can see what it looks like. Um, here we are in the members area. So yeah, this is what the app looks like. Very small. It's not complicated. Very, very simple, intuitive. Uh, and, and that's important. So if you're a newbie at video marketing or creating videos, I, you're not going to find um, yourself frustrated by this. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. Um, and it has uh, quite a number of settings on it, which make it even better. Okay, so let, let me point out some of the features of this. So in here is where we would put the number of clips or images that we're going to use for our project. So all of our images or videos or anything we're going to use would go into a folder. Okay, so that would be the first thing you do. You create a folder for your images, for your videos, for any kind of intro images or intro videos that you're going to use, outro videos, outro uh, images that you're going to use, as well as audio tracks. This also allows you to put in as many audio tracks as you like. Okay, so that would be the first thing you want to do, and then you could set the duration for each of those images, the number of seconds or minutes that you want those images to remain on the screen. Okay, and then the transition time, okay, uh, for your transitions that you're going to have in between these particular images, all right, or clips. And then you can also, you can also add a watermark to it. You could add video transitions different kinds of video transitions, dissolves, fade to black, fade to white, side to left, from slide from the right. You can zoom in, zoom out, so forth and so on. Um, and this is where your file names would go. Now, this is really, really good. So let's say that you have, I don't know, 30 or 40 different videos, but you want them all to have unique titles because you're going to use those titles as part of your keywords, right? And that's kind of important because you want to target those particular keywords, for example, to rank a particular video in Google. So this way, you just list them. And what the software does as it's processing is it's going to create a video for each one of those keywords. Okay? This is where your source folder would be, where you would keep all of these images. Okay? and the destination of where you want the output to go. And this is where the finished processed uh, videos uh, will be stored. Okay. This is your music folder. The volume, you could set the volume however you like to set it if you want it softer, louder for the videos that you're going to be playing. And then you can set the sequence. Um, I have mine set to continuous, which means that if I choose, let's say, five videos with five audio tracks, it's going to attach uh, a, a randomized audio track to each one of those videos. This is very important because what you want to do is to create clones of your videos, all right? And that's what you're doing here that are all unique. And why do you want them all to be unique? Well, one, you do not want to encounter a duplication penalty. You don't want Google or YouTube uh, to disable your channel or your videos, uh, or remove them for a duplication uh, violation, okay, of content. And in this case, you won't have that problem because you're randomizing everything within each of these cloned videos. 
So what I've gone and done is I actually created five videos and I want to show you something here. Um, I only used six images. I could have used as many as I wanted to, but I, I chose six. Um, I have a duration of like four minutes per image. Uh, I set the translation time here. Um, and I decided I was going to just create the five videos. Okay. Maximum duration per image of five seconds. And I chose the highest video quality. Now, you can also set it for low, medium, high or highest. Personally, I like my videos to be of the highest possible quality um, because I want to have the best user experience. I want, I think most of us are used to seeing high quality videos and we prefer them over those that are low quality or grainy or pixelated or whatever. Um, I think it's important to go for the best that you can possibly achieve. Now, understand that you're going to have to compromise on something. And that has to do with what is called rendering time. That means the time that's going to take this software to create the number of videos that you want, or that's going to add to the rendering time, and also the degree of quality that you're looking for. If you're looking for the highest quality, you can't expect it to do it super quick. If you want that, then you have to set it for low, medium quality. So I think it's something that you are going to have to decide for yourself which you want to do. Personally, um, I found that set at the highest quality, creating five videos with randomized audio tracks and images and putting a watermark on and having an intro and an outro, that it took approximately 12 minutes for it to finish rendering uh, those five videos, which is not bad at all. I also did uh, another run, uh, another campaign with 30 videos. It took longer, about 35, 40 minutes for it to complete all of those at the highest set quality. That's still fine because you can set it, okay, walk away, go do something else, right? When you come back, it'll all be finished for you. So it depends on how much of a hurry you're in and how important it is for you to have high quality videos versus those that might just be more compromised. Okay. I put five key uh, file names in there that are tied to this particular, uh, um, this, these particular videos. Okay. Which in this case has to do with teeth whitening. I did this for a client, a local client. And, um, so I have it set also for continuous so that uh, the videos are going to have randomized images as well as audio tracks. And I have a separate intro, which I created separately using a different kind of software, by the way. This was not created using this particular software. I have a separate software that I use to make my own video intros. And I inserted a final image here. And as I said, took no more than 12 minutes for me to produce some pretty high quality videos. Now, this is what um, is in my destination file. The destination file is where the videos are going to be uh, exported. And I have five of them. And as you can see, they each have a different keyword or title. Best new NJ teeth whitening, Clark NJ teeth whitening. I live in Clark, New Jersey, by the way. Uh, Clark NJ teeth whitening. Clark Teeth Whitening, Teeth Whitening, Clark and J, all different. So let me just show you what it looks like. Here's my intro, and this is the watermark that I was telling you about right here which in my case is just uh, basically I do a lot of local uh, lead gen, local uh, business marketing. So that's uh, one of the logos that I use for my particular client. I think you'd have to agree that looks pretty good, right? And if you notice, there's not a lot of hiccups like some of these softwares that you use because of the processing that's involved or the type of software that's been created. Um, it just doesn't run as perfectly as that. Let me do one other for you. I'm not going to do all of them. I think you get the idea. We have a different audio track that's going to play here, starting now. 
And if you can notice, the images, um, it's the same uh, five or six images, but they simply are in randomized order. So what I've gone and done is uh, I actually created five videos. And I, I want to show you something here. Um, I only used six images. I could have used as many as I wanted to, but I, I chose six. Um, I have a duration of like four minutes per image. Uh, I set the translation time here. Um, and I decided I was going to just create the five videos. Okay. Maximum duration per image of five seconds. And I chose the highest video quality. Now, you can also set it for low, medium, high, or highest. Personally, I like my videos to be of the highest possible quality. Um, because I want to have the best user experience. I want, I think most of us are used to seeing high quality videos and we prefer them over those that are low quality or grainy or pixelated or whatever. Um, I think it's important to go for the best that you can possibly achieve. Now, understand that you're going to have to compromise on something. And that has to do with what is called rendering time. That means the time that's going to take this software to create the number of videos that you want. Right, that's going to add to the rendering time and also the degree of quality that you're looking for. If you're looking for the highest quality, you can't expect it to do it super quick. If you want that, then you have to set it for low, medium quality. So I think it's something that you are going to have to decide for yourself which you want to do. Personally, um, I found that set at the highest quality, creating five videos with randomized audio tracks and images, and putting a watermark on and having an intro and an outro that it took approximately 12 minutes for it to finish rendering uh, those five videos, which is not bad at all. I also did uh, another run, uh, another campaign with 30 videos. It took longer, around 35, 40 minutes for it to complete all of those at the highest set quality. That's still fine because you can set it. Okay, walk away, go do something else, right? When you come back, it'll all be finished for you. So it depends on how much of a hurry you're in and how important it is for you to have high quality videos versus those that might just be more compromised. Okay, I put five key uh, file names in there that are tied to this particular uh um, this, these particular videos, okay, which in this case has to do with teeth whitening. I did this for a client, a local client, and um, so I have it set also for continuous so that uh, the videos are going to have randomized images as well as audio tracks. And I have a separate intro, which I created separately using a different kind of software, by the way. This was not created using this particular software. I have a separate software that I use to make my own video intros. And I inserted a final image here. And as I said, it took no more than 12 minutes for me to produce some pretty high quality videos. Now, this is what um, is in my destination file. The destination file is where the videos are going to be uh, exported. And I have five of them, and as you can see, they each have a different keyword or title. Best New NJ Teeth Whitening, Clark NJ Teeth Whitening. I live in Clark, New Jersey, by the way. Uh, Clark NJ Teeth Whitening, Clark Teeth Whitening, Teeth Whitening, Clark NJ. All different. So, let me just show you what it looks like. Here's my intro, and this is the watermark that I was telling you about. Right here. Which in my case is just uh, basically I do a lot of local uh, lead gen, local uh, business marketing. So that's uh, one of the logos that I use for my particular client. I think you'd have to agree that looks pretty good, right? And if you notice, there's not a lot of hiccups like some of these softwares that you use because of the processing that's involved or the type of software that's been created. Um, it just doesn't run as perfectly as that. Let me do one other for you. I'm not going to do all of them. I think you get the idea. 
We have a different audio track that's going to play here, starting now. And if you can notice, the images, um, it's the same uh, five or six images, but they simply are in randomized order. Okay, so um, I think I've demonstrated to you, um, or hopefully I have, uh, just how easy it is to use this and how effective it is, um, how good it is, and actually how robust it is for a little small app. Uh, and I think this would be particularly useful for you uh, if you're doing e-com or you're doing any kind of affiliate marketing for Amazon products where you have a lot of images uh, uh, that you want to show and display and you want to create these videos uh, very quickly and have multiple clones, clones of all these videos uh, that you can actually put up on your different channels. Um, this will help you rank for particular keywords, um, and it just diversifies all of your assets in a way that's extremely important uh, in terms of optimizing videos for uh, ranking purposes, and that's what many of us, obviously, are looking to do. So um, I think it has mul serves multiple uh, purposes, and I think you would find it very useful. Um, so let me just briefly go over some of the OTOs that we have here that are being offered. Um, again, these are not, um, these are completely optional. Um, but the first thing I want to talk to you about is just what's at the front end. The front end is basically just the software. And as you can see, for a single install license, $26, uh, three installs, that means you can have three install license so that you can have it on three separate computers. Uh, $27 and unlimited install is $28. So this is a no-brainer. To me, I would go for the, uh, the unlimited so that you are able to actually put this on different computers or have other people use them. For example, if you have a VA, uh, maybe you're doing video marketing and you actually have a VA or somebody else uh, that is helping you, um, they would be able to use put the uh, put the software on their computer and use it uh, as well. Okay, uh, upgrade, this upgrade here is called the Hypnotic YouTube Channel Video Course Triple Pack, how to build a hypnotic viral YouTube channel, how to generate unlimited viral video ideas, common viral, that's I'm not saying it's bad, I just don't know what's the content of this. Uh, I'm sure it's quite good. Um, it's got a one-time fee of $37. Um, it's completely up to you. If that's something you need, it's not necessary in my opinion. Upgrade number two, Video Assets Club. It's a, these are royalty-free photos, uh, frames, uh, instant uh, commercial kits, music that they would provide you every single month. But there's a monthly fee attached to that of $27, which um, I don't know if that's something I would recommend to you. Uh, especially if you're just starting out. I don't think it's necessary. And I'm also going to offer some things for you in the bonuses that we'll talk about um, that are going to provide you some of those things that you you wouldn't have to buy them. Okay. Um, upgrade number three is a 10-pack business success bundle. Again, not sure what that means. Uh, it's a one-time 37 upgrade. Again, optional. Not sure I can recommend it because I don't know enough about it. Upgrade number four is going to be the Tube Famous Masterclass, regularly $1,300, a one time fee of $297. About this, I will say this Anthony Ayers, as I said earlier, uh, is a very well respected and prominent video marketer and one of the most ethical and one of the most respected in the industry. Um, he usually provides nothing but, but pure value. Uh, he is somebody who has been working at video marketing for many, many years, D did a lot of testing and experimenting to see how he can rank his videos and for local lead gen uh, marketing and so forth and so on. So having taken some of his courses, other courses in the past, I can just tell you um, there's probably a tremendous amount of value in this class. But again, it may be something outside of your budget uh, or it's something that you're really not sure you need at this particular time. Okay, so that is again completely up to you. Um, the vendor, the Anthony Ayers himself, they are providing their own bonuses. So I just want to briefly discuss them. Uh, they're providing you 10 bonus music tracks. That's pretty good. Uh, um, you can definitely use those. Uh, you may have your own, um, um, but 
having 10 extra ones is not bad. Firestarter is very good. I know what this is, and this is actually good. It's, they're going to actually show you how to get YouTube approved video views uh, very cheaply for pennies, okay? And uh, some ingenious stuff in here. So uh, I think that's going to be a great bonus. Uh, this is a high ticket client cold call killer, and it's, a, it's Anthony's formula for actually landing uh, clients through cold calling. And he also, again, had some very good ideas, suggestions, uh, and things that you can do, little tricks to actually get interviews with people by through cold calling. Highly recommend that. Um, but again, you're not going to have to pay for them. These are included. These are bonuses that are included um, with your purchase of the software. Um, again, anything having to do with ranking videos, uh, where Anthony Ayers is concerned, I can recommend wholeheartedly. So I'm sure you're going to find a great deal of value in this particular uh, module here on video ranking domination. But having said that, uh, I am also providing my own custom bonuses, which I think will actually enhance the value of the, the software itself. Um, I'm going to provide you five uh, done-for-you whiteboard videos, and this is for local businesses. Um, they're professionally scripted. They have the voiceovers. Uh, they're high resolution. Okay, MP4, and you can add your own client's business info at the end, and um, you can customize them any way you want, and then use them within this particular software. I've done that, and uh, this can be highly effective, by the way. Okay, um, and the great thing, I'm also going to provide you access to um, it, what it, what. Uh, I was introduced to a long time ago by actually by Ray Lane. Uh, you may know Ray Lane. Uh, he produces a lot of these uh, local um, uh, uh, instant spokesperson videos. I'm sure you've heard about those. Anyway, he was the one who introduced me and countless others to this uh, open source video editor called Shotcut. And it's really, really fantastic. It's completely free, very intuitive not difficult to use. I knew nothing about editing videos uh, when I first started about two or three years ago. Um, it's some nice tutorials that I'm also including with this, video tutorials. Um, you're going to be able to take um, uh, videos that you have, put them in here, edit them, uh, you can trim them, uh, you can add text to them through using this free software. And it is absolutely Superb. So that's something that I think you're going to find very useful. I'm also going to be providing you with uh, more than a hundred copyright free music tracks. Uh, some of them were the ones that I actually used in the demo that I provided you before, that I showed you before. Um, so I know that you're going to find that useful. So you can add that to the other so that are going to be provided as part of the vendor's bonuses as well. Okay. Um, also, uh, going to give you a tutorial. It's not my own tutorial, but it's a tutorial, one of the first tutorials that I saw uh, back in, I think it was 2014-2015 from someone, um, and it was something that I used and it helped me enormously in ranking videos that I was having a very hard time ranking in Google on the first page, and this actually got me there simply by watching this particular tutorial, so I'm going to include that as well. Um, and you should also learn something if you haven't already about the power of live streaming. Live streaming video still has a lot of value, um, if not for backlinking and for providing authority to a particular channel, but also for ranking on the first page of Google where live streams, uh, live stream videos tend to rank very, very quickly. Uh, they don't stay there all the time, but, um, you have to do some other things there to keep them there uh, by backlinking, okay? But my point is live streaming can be very, very important, and it's something you should learn to do, um, and it's not hard to do at all. And this particular uh, guide will help you understand that and understand uh, how you can best leverage live stream uh, uh, videos and video in your marketing, okay? So... Um, I hope uh, that by now that you've had a, a good idea as to what this software is all about. Um, I know you might watch other reviews and they're very short uh, and, um, and, and I didn't mean to go on so long about it, but I think it's important that you understand exactly what it is. Um, 
that you're getting and does it work? And what I can tell you from my own testing and using of it uh, absolutely does. I think it's absolutely terrific. It's definitely the best priced software for video uh, rendering and, and video marketing that I've encountered ever. So um, you're not going to feel that you've been ripped off uh, by any means. Okay. So um, I want to thank you for watching my review and um, to your success.